Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for not allowing my brother to be in my wedding, after he basically took my family? I am 35 been no contact with my younger brother for years, because of major issues we had in the past. I couldn't go to college after my dad passed away and I ended up working several jobs to support my brother while supporting my, now ex, wife and kid. My brother lived with us for a while, because he couldn't afford rent and was in college at the time. Then my ex-wife and I began arguing a lot, and it became increasingly difficult to work things out between us. I discovered eventually that my brother had a bad influence on my life and marriage, when he got together with my ex. And in that instance, I was done with both of them. I divorced my ex-wife and my brother married her in less than a year, I tried to get full custody, but I ended up sharing custody of my son with my brother and my ex-wife. My ex-wife claimed she was having issues with me in the past, and used that in the court. I was so devastated, and so mad thinking how, after everything I've done, my own brother takes my family from me and turn my life upside down. I trusted him, I was out there working hard to support him, but he took advantage of me and took my family literally took my family away from me. I hate that he gets to spend time with my son, and I just wish I could get him out of that toxic environment. He's 7 years old and he's very smart. My brother seems to be trying to take my place as a father as well, because he continuously tells my son to call him dad, and there has been plenty of fights over this matter. I expect nothing less from him, as he keeps causing me hurt and pain to this day. But I'm glad I'll soon be getting married to my fiancé, who's very empathic and supportive of me. I've decided to celebrate with my family. But the thing is, my aunt who I have a very good relationship with, wanted me to invite my brother to my own wedding. I laughed at first, but then the argument started when she and other family members insisted I invite him, saying that my ex doesn't have to come if I'm uncomfortable with it. I told them no, but they told me my brother wanted to come and work things out between us, and thought this was the perfect opportunity. I got mad and I couldn't help it, I refused. Even though my fiancé thought that I still have feelings for my ex, because I refuse to forgive my brother. They all think, that with time, I should be able to mend my relationship with him, and that what happened was my ex's fault, but I believe he's a huge part of the problem. I said no and they're all criticizing my decision, and saying I'm holding a grudge, and asking me how that looks like for my fiancé. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, honestly if you are not comfortable with him being that, they need to respect that. I mean, I find it highly insane that they think there is a mending the fence option. Brother burnt that bridge down and continued to pour gas to the fire to ensure it doesn't stop smoldering. The family members harassing OP can stay home too. They're all criticizing my decision and asking me how that looks like for my fiancé. It looks like you have some self-respect. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole and I'd be tearing your fiancé a new one as well. Do you really want to get married to a person who throws that at you? Your family are ridiculous, cut him off. He's now just your ex-wife's new husband. Your brother is dead to you. And dead people don't come to weddings. I completely agree. My brother will not be attending my wedding. He chose my ex-wife over his sibling, and took my family from me. I consider that unforgivable, and he will have to live with the consequences. Family doesn't do what he did. If he actually wants to have a better relationship, the least he can do is let my child know that he only has one daddy me, and not try to replace me. He should also tell his fiancé, if he still wants to salvage the relationship, that he has no feelings for his ex-wife, she made her choice to follow his brother. The brother isn't invited because he did something unforgivable, period. Not the a-hole. Regardless of what took place it's still you and your fiancé a wedding. If you don't want them there, they can't be there if anyone has a problem with that, they don't have to show up either. Hope you find happiness OP. Not the a-hole, why is the whole family telling you to bend for your brother? Why didn't they defend you when he literally tore your family apart, after taking advantage of your generosity? Why is the burden of forgiveness left on you, when he continues to actively do vicious things like convince your son to call him dad? If you haven't decided on party favors for your wedding, I would recommend mirrors, so your family can take a long look at themselves to see the hypocrisy that is plain on their faces. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not supporting my cousin's relationship? My younger cousin, 23 female, and I, 27 female, had been super close since she turned 16. We did most things together, and she even lived with me for a bit when she turned 18. It's been great, and I even see her as more of a little sister than a cousin. From ages 13 to 25, I dated and was engaged to Mark, 
27 male. My cousin knew him well. When I turned 25, Mark and I had a serious discussion about marriage and children, and ended up breaking up. He had lied to me our entire adult relationship about wanting marriage and kids. It killed me. My cousin was there for me the entire time. You can probably see where this is going. A month ago, my cousin announced she was pregnant and engaged. I was excited for her, until I went over for a celebratory family cookout, and met her newly moved in fiancé. Guess who it was? Yep, it was Mark. My world came crashing down and I just left. I didn't say anything, I just walked out. Family tried calling, my cousin tried calling and texting me, but I didn't answer anyone. After about a week, I finally answered my cousin's call. She told me she needed me to be there for her, and she knew it was weird, but he was going to be family and I should be happy for her. I told her I couldn't support any of this, and to please not contact me again. I now have family telling me what's done is done, and I need to get over it because cousin is getting married and having a baby, that I need to think of her, and that this is an exciting time for the family. I told everyone to F off, and if they support this, not to contact me again, because family wouldn't do this to each other. They called me a witch, and told me it's been two years, that no one owns a man, and I needed to shape up because this is happening. I blocked all of them. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Most definitely not the a-hole, what she did was terrible. She knew you all were together for all those years and broken up, and she still dated him. That's basically betraying you. I'm sorry you have to go through that. I bet it started before they broke up too, went from girlfriend's cousin to baby mama real quick, and is nobody curious why these two are even in contact after the split? Especially if cousin was comforting OP? Honestly, the fact that they both knew about the relationship drama, got together so soon after your major breakup, and kept their relationship from you only to reveal it at a suitably dramatic moment in front of your entire family. Makes me wonder if they didn't do this to you deliberately. If this is an exciting time for the family, how come you didn't hear a thing about your cousin's mysterious fiancé, until she could spring this on you? Not the a-hole for going no contact after that. From what you say, it seems that Mark told you he didn't want children, when you had been under the impression that he did. That he's celebrating his impending fatherhood so soon after he ended a long-term relationship over exactly that issue, makes me wonder if he was already interested in your cousin and was lying to you in order to break your relationship off. I'm just an internet speculator so take that with a grain of salt, but I've heard of scenarios like that before. I agree with everything in your first paragraph, but I am assuming it was the other way around. Mark's law was telling her he did not want children, knowing she was child-free, and then later revealing he actually did want children. So, they broke up for that reason, because he admitted he did want kids and she wasn't going to change her mind, and then he chose OP's cousin to be the woman he'd have a child with when he couldn't get her to do it. Absolutely crap of him. Not the a-hole. Your cousin can marry whom she likes, but you don't have to be there for it. I'm sure it's tough on your family too, but it's disappointing that they are all siding with her after you were in a relationship with this guy for 12 years including engagement. Now for next story. Am I the a-hole for telling off my daughter for a horrible comment towards her sister even though she feels like she's correct and justified? My older daughter is now 31 and my younger daughter is 27. Four years ago, my older daughter's fiancé left her for my younger daughter, a month before their wedding. Yes, it is as terrible as it sounds made even worse by the fact that my younger daughter was two months along in her pregnancy. I was extremely disappointed in my younger daughter. They both claimed they were in love and are still married till now. It literally destroyed our family. My older daughter has banned her sister from coming around her. Which everyone has been accommodating all these years. It makes holidays very stressful but it is what it is. I've tried my best to have a good relationship with my grandchild while navigating the family issues. My older daughter has made very cruel comments about my grandchild which I've ignored. That's a mistake on my part for not shutting it down. In February, my older daughter dropped by our house unexpectedly and encountered my younger daughter, son-in-law and grandchild. It was very tense, and my younger daughter broke down in tears and tried apologizing again, and revealed to us that my grandchild was likely on the autism spectrum. And my oldest daughter immediately replied by saying, that it's sad that the karma of cheating parents is inflicted on the children. And that maybe this will be a lesson for my younger daughter. My son-in-law and my oldest daughter got into a huge fight and everyone left in tears. I've always been sympathetic to my older daughter and have usually taken her side. But I think what she said is extremely out of line and mean. 
I told her that what she said was unacceptable, and that she needs to apologize, or I will not be having her over anymore. She then told me that my parenting is atrocious and it's no wonder my younger daughter turned out to be a bad word. I've clearly messed up somewhere to have raised two daughters who've made such cruel judgments. But am I wrong for taking a stand on this issue? Both my daughters were lovely people with a lot of success. But our whole family is so angry and sad now. My oldest daughter is the complete opposite of who she used to be. But she refuses to go to therapy, even when I offer to pay for it and come with her if she wants. I'm just heartbroken. Now for the top comments. You're the a-hole. I'm giving the older daughter a pass because her comment was justified. Let's break down exactly why. Finding out your fiancé was cheating a month before the wedding, is a huge blow. I can't imagine how horrible it would be, to find out that it was with your own sister, and that she was pregnant. That is grounds for permanently removing those two from your life. Now we have the mother. What was her reaction? I'm extremely disappointed in sister, but she gave us the first grandchild, so I'm not going to rock that boat too hard. You make the holidays work, so it's obvious she has seen very little to no actual repercussions for what they did. Now, older daughter simply suggests the sister is getting her comeuppance, and that she feels sorry for the child, and this is where you make your stand? This is the breaking point, a step too far? Jesus OP, could you make it any more obvious how much you favor your younger daughter? Your older daughter is right, your parenting is atrocious. My oldest daughter is the complete opposite of who she used to be. No crap Sherlock. Her fiancé cheated with her younger sister, and her family decided that was perfectly fine. While therapy probably would be helpful for her, therapy needs to be with someone you trust. Why would she want you there? You've more than shown her where your loyalties lie. Editing to add for a lot of comments, I never said the oldest daughter's comment wasn't an a-hole comment. But if you think the actions are justified, then you don't give them an ESH. The majority of my original comment addresses the justification, but there are other things as well. Older daughter wasn't the first to bring up autism, her sister threw it in her face to garner sympathy. Older daughter isn't blaming any of this on the innocent child, and in fact feels sorry the child might be a vessel for karmic retribution. This is putting everything on the parents. If she wants to believe autism is a punishment, I agree that is an a-hole move. But I still feel her comment to her sister was justified. And the older sister's views on disabilities do not in any way reflect my own. Your youngest and her husband are a whole. What your eldest said sounds hurtful, but it didn't hurt the child. The baby's not any less or more autistic for what she said. I'd argue nothing has changed for the baby at all, after your eldest said that. Your youngest and her husband should be the ones trying to fix this. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mother that my stepdad will not be walking me down the aisle because I hate him, and in turn ripping my family apart? I, 23, am getting married to my boyfriend of 6 years in June. We're having quite a large wedding, fiancé has a big family, and we have a lot of friends, but my family is very small. My only family is my mom, never met my dad, and I have an aunt and uncle who were child-free. Since I was little, having no father, I always wanted my uncle to walk me down the aisle. My mom married my stepdad when I was 12, and I've never liked him. He's a bully. He says horrible things to people, says racist, sexist, transphobic things for attention, and heavily contributed to my mental illness and eating disorder as a teenager. My mom knows that we don't get along, and she knows I didn't like him, but I gave up on confiding in her about how much I disliked him when I was around 15, because she would always insist that despite having a nasty mouth, he was a really good guy and he would never hurt us. So, it's been around 8 years since I've told my mom I hate him. I moved out when I was 19 with my boyfriend. I visit my mom maybe 3 to 4 times a week, I would try to time this around my stepdad working, so I wouldn't see him. As a result of seeing him less, I was more able to ignore his horribleness and we stopped arguing. I mostly stopped talking to him. He still refers to me as his daughter and my mother insists, he loves me. It is not mutual. But everyone has assumed that I love them too, and our relationship is just based on banter rather than tormenting. So, when I got engaged, I asked my uncle almost straight away if he would walk me down the aisle. He was over the moon, but my aunt was like, oh, you aren't picking stepdad? And I said no, I've always wanted uncle to do it. A few hours later, my mom called me crying, asking why I wouldn't want stepdad to do it, saying it's broken his heart. I told her that I've always dreamed of having uncle do it. She pressed on about how heartbroken he is, saying he always thought we had a good, funny relationship. 
This is where I feel like an A. I said, there was nothing funny about him ruining my self-esteem and teenage years. I hate him and if it were up to me, he wouldn't even be at the wedding. My mom said that she's horrified that I still feel this way, once again spouting that he's a good guy, and he loves me. I repeated that I hate the guy, and she said she'll tell him to back off. He's now angry at me and has asked my uncle not to walk me. My uncle is now not speaking to him, and I feel like I've torn what little family I have apart. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your wedding. He doesn't have to even be there. It's your day. You're making memories for your family. He's not part of that. The fact he's tried to ruin it by getting your uncle involved is a lot about him. My exact thoughts. It sounds like he is proving exactly why OP wouldn't want him in her life. Not the a-hole. It's your wedding. If it were up to me, he wouldn't even be at the wedding as the guest list not up to you? It is but my mother doesn't drive, so she'd have no way to get to the wedding without him. We live in a rural area with very little public transport. Not the a-hole. I'm sorry. Your mom has been going to a lot of trouble to convince herself everything has been fine. You don't owe her that illusion. It's lovely that you have a good relationship with your uncle. I hope you have a wonderful wedding day. I'd recommend not jumping to I've torn my family apart, though, okay? You've just stopped drinking the Kool-Aid. You're not responsible for their reactions. Don't let them bully you into pretending, and don't take on more of this than what's fair. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.